Hello dear friends, my name is Jitender Wafna. I am a senior solution architect. In today's video, we are going to see how to create API specification project using AnyPoint Studio and then sync with Design Center using Git capabilities. So for today's demo, we are going to use Open API Specification 3.0. Open API Specification is nothing, it is used to design and describe your API like RAML. So RAML is nothing like REST API modeling language, which is used to design and create your APIs, right? So let me go to any point studio and then I will going to create a file new and you have option for creating API specification project in any point studio. So I will select this project and make sure you are selecting a proper any point platform username. So now I want to create my open API specification in this particular account. So let me go to any point platform. I am logging on already logging on my any point platform that with that particular user, right? Now, you, if you see, I don't have, I haven't created any open API specification project here. So let me do one thing. Let me create a, some open API specification project here. I will say post blog API, right? From here, you can select what kind of or what type of API or what type of API you have to design. So you have a RAML 1.0, 0.8, so OS 2.0, OS 2.0 YAML, OS 3.0 JSON, OS 3.0 YAML. So in this demonstration, I will be going to use OS 3.0 YAML. Okay, then I will click on finish. So once I will click on finish, it will create a project into your AnyPoint Studio and then also it will create your project in this design center. Let me refresh that and let's see if project has been created or not. So you can see a post blog API is already created and even if you'll see, it must be created in your AnyPoint Studio also. Right? So here, uh, it will give some like uh, it will add some uh, initial information so like you know if you, if you can see info version title and even you can see it here the same thing will be available in this particular design center so let me go and add some more information so let me add contact information in contact i want to add email i can say jitendra at gmail.com then i want to add name so i can say jitendra then I can add URL. So basically, I can provide my contact URL. So I can say www.jitendra.com slash contacts. Okay. Then also like make sure you are giving the proper uh, like you have add the you add the tag at a proper alignment. Then also I can provide the terms and services. So my TNC is available you know, on this particular website. Jitendra dot com slash tnc okay so i added some initial information and let's see if those information is reflected uh, into your design center or not so let me refresh that the answer is no it will not going to reflect anything automatically now so you have to use git you know uh, for uh, for sync the information between say, uh, any point studio and your design center just let me see if you see it will over it will like uh, provide a GUI uh, from where you can uh, like do the code check in, you know, you can commit the code. So if you can see it saying like uh, saying like the post blog api.yaml is uh, is uh, there's some changes happen in this particular YAML file. So what I can do, I can use this click on this add and I will just put the commit message initial changes. Okay, I will say commit and push. So it will just push the changes. Just I will close this. Let me check if changes is available in Design Center. Yeah, you can see all the changes is available in your Design Center. Let me show you one more thing. So like uh, if you go to the project, right? So let me copy this project path and let me just say run. If you see it create dot git folder automatically and like uh, whenever you adding the code in the design center So back in the backend it is using the git, you know, where uh, git repository So here if you see the folder 
uh, you have a .git folder. Let me check this. Uh, yeah, I think this is only the folder. And under the config, you will find the repository URL open with Notepad. So this is the config file. You find uh, you will find the name, email, and you will also find this is my repository URL where your Open API specification is saved. Okay, so you can see that. And we are working currently working on the master branch. And if you go to Design Center, you can see that. So we are working on the master branch, right? So let me add some more information and let me show the other way of just checking the or commit the code into the Git or into a Design Center. So let me put some. So I can put uh, some description, and I will say this API is is related to to the blog posts. Okay. So if you see it, also generating a document which is describing your API. You can see it here. So it provides a similar capability uh, like as Design Center. So if you see, if you are writing anything on Design Center, it keep on generating a document also. So the same capability you can find in AnyPoint Studio. It also provides the intelligence. You can see that. So it also provides the intelligence and everything. Correct. And also you have something called mocking service. Uh, we will going to see in next uh, videos. So you have a capability of testing the API using the mocking services. So you, you have all those things available into your AnyPoint Studio uh, like that is also present in Design Center right so now I have done some code changes so I will just save it and let me go to properties let me copy this uh, URL then I will go to CMD then CD I will go to this path so now the first command what we do always in git we git we do add git add dot so all the changes now I will commit I will do the local commit minus M, I will say description added. Okay, then I can say git push origin master. So it may prompt uh, for it may ask for username and password uh, in case uh, if you haven't configured right the for first time. In my case, the username and password is already configured, and you have to like you have to put the your any point platform username and password. So you can see the changes has been committed. And let me refresh this page. So you can see you can find the description here, right? And so in next video like we are going to see how to write open api specification in this video we have seen like uh, how to create a api specification project how to sync uh, api specification uh, from any point studio to your design center using git uh, using git cli or as well as the uh, git uh, gui which is provided by any point studio right and like uh, in next video we will going we will going uh, more into uh, uh, how to write open api specification okay i hope you like the video if you like the video please click on like and subscribe button thanks for watching